I think I think everyone always put too much on the whole undefeated thing. I I said in an interview, I can't remember who it was with before, but I, I was saying that uh, you know, be, being undefeated, having a loss, having a win, it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything to me because uh at the end of the day, you know, anybody anybody can take a win, anybody can take a loss any day of the week. Um it's not like a I think it's more of an ego thing, you know, like <laughs> like if you have to be undefeated, you have to be able to it's it doesn't bug me at all. He, he was he was real prepared, he was real tough. You know, uh, Casey's a tough, tough competitor. He's a, he's a, he came in prepared, but I do think I don't know, I, I, I even got like talking crap after, but I, I do think I was uh, better than what I showed in that fight. I think I just had like a lot of stuff that I uh, kind of like like get in my head and stuff like that. So uh, this fight camp is going to be focusing on not letting anything. Uh, get to me like that. Just being so focused on on the weight cut that I that I was just kind of like, all right, like, <laughs> uh, like, like I, I just want to go home and eat some donuts <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's definitely giving me a lot of uh, freedom of mind, and uh, you know, it kind of goes back to what I was saying. Like, I, I think I think a happy fighter is, is a dangerous fighter. So uh, me being at 45, me being happy, well fed, me being uh, it's ready to go. That's that's going to be a key uh, key trade to his fight. You know, he's tough. He's tough for sure. He's always been. Uh, I've heard his name a lot locally because he grew up on the same circuit. Um, he took two years off, and that could either be you know, uh, that could either make it tougher or easier. You know, um, he's he's training at ATT, so I know he's training with some of the best guys out there. Um, but you know, stylistically, I think that I'm I'm going to be a problem for him. So yes and no. Um, when I was when I was coming up locally, there, there's a lot of you know in the community. It's a small community. You always meet these guys. Like like so, I knew Joe was on like fairly well. I knew uh, Carol Alexis. I knew Josh was. I knew guys that were in it. You know, so so it wasn't like that big of a deal when I met one. But it was for my first fight when when I got off the plane and it was like me and Mike Perry signing posters together. Like we, were, like we were right across from each other. And I don't know why that was so different to me, but uh, it was just funny because I'd seen his TV personality and stuff like that. And, and I see him in first, and he's like, he's he's cool, but he still has his like little, like, you know, his little like, swagger to him. She had nice pictures. So uh, that wasn't necessarily Star Trek. That was more like, oh, like, <laughs> like you're really in this now. So Mason, um, so the way I know Mason is, uh, his father has been one of my training partners for for years now. You know, since I since I first started, he, he's been there. He's always been supporting me, helping me, all this and that. And uh, his son Mason has had issues, you know, for for a long time. I know he had a tumor, and then I've I've been watching him and his health and how it goes up, how it goes down, how it affects his family. Uh, at one point, he had I believe three brain surgeries in two days, and you know, I've gone and I talked to him, I visited him, all that. And just see, seeing how he, like, keeps up his attitude, how, how like, I'd go visit him, and he's, like, barely, he, he's, he's not really in a physical state to be talking, to be, you know, communicating, but he's still cracking jokes. He's still, he's still, like, doing the things that he loves, man. And uh, he's, he's inspired me. He never, like, never gave up, never, I never heard him say anything bad about his situation.